In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make a bubble quilt, just like this. You're going to have a top section and a bottom section to your bubble quilt. I am going to alternate these two pieces of fabric as my top sections, and these measure in at five inches. And these are for the top pieces of my bubble quilt and then you're going to need a bottom section to your bubble quilt and these are going to be measured in at four and a half so you could make this size any that you wanted to i won't go too small because it's going to be too fiddly um so you've got five inches for the top and four and a half for the bottom of your bubble quilt so the first one we're going to do is get one of our five inch squares for the top section of our bubble quilt and we're going to pinch it in the center a small pleat so just fold it over and in order to keep that nice and straight i got my bottom section my four and a half piece and i just made sure that i didn't pleat it anymore than the four and a half inches so that matches perfectly so i have to do a pleat on all four sides so I, in order to keep this pleated i am going to grab a wonder clip and keep that in place and do my next pleat on the other side of my bubble quilt piece so around the center of the piece i am just going to fold this fabric back and then I'm just going to put it back over here and just make sure that I haven't gone too far. And if I have, just bring it back forward again. And then I just press this down and then grab another wonder clip. And just clip that into place. And then go round to the next side and just give that... A fold over and pull it forward so I'm just making sure all the time it matches that back side there then grab a clip just make sure it hasn't gone over just keep things nice and straight and clip that into place and get my next side Fold it over and get my wonder clip and put that into place. So I've created folds or pleats on all four sides. And I'm going to do that with every single section that I require for my quilt. I'm going to make a little cat bed out of this to show you. You can make it as big or as small as you would like it to be. I sew using a Baby Lock Soprano and in my needle I have a 9014 Microtex needle. I'm going to keep all of my straight stitch settings exactly the same. I'm going to have my quarter of an inch foot on the machine and in my thread area I'm going to have a regular polyester thread white or cream or whatever or you can match it up with your fabrics and exactly the same colour in my bobbin area. With my bubble quilt sections, I'm going to do five rows across and five rows down. And like I said, you can make your bubble quilt as big or as small as you would like. I am going to take one piece of my bubble quilt and basically I'm going to sew around all three sections. The bottom here, like because this is facing up and is an actual true up and down on this fabric so this is going to be my bottom i am going to keep this open because we're going to be stuffing that with a little bit of polyfill so i'm going to sew all around these three sections of this bubble quilt section 
I'm going to do it a little bit shorter than a quarter of an inch and I'm going to sew with the crease. So I'm going to sew this way towards the crease so I am not sewing this way and catching this crease up here. So sew down the crease. Go as fast or as slow as you would like. So this here is the first row of my bubble quilt and I have all of the bottoms still open. Now what I'm going to do is attach these rows together and I'm going to do that at a quarter of an inch and I'm going to do it right sides together. Like so. I'm just going to make sure that I go over that first original stitch and I'm making sure that I'm leaving them bottom openings at the bottom of the row. So let's stitch this together. And then just go ahead and stitch the rest of your rows. So these are all now attached together, make this as big or as small as you want. I actually might attach another one at the end here. And now we need to create another row, but don't sew this shut just yet. Let's work on the next part of our bubble quilt. Now this part is up to you. I am going to use some polyfill. You could use some scrap fabric if you like. Now. This is just a bubble effect, you don't want to overstuff it and another reason why you don't want to overstuff your bubble quilt is because you're going to find it difficult to sew this next section down. So don't overfill it, it's supposed to just be a little bit puffy and not too hard. So open a section up of your bubble quilt and just fill. So that's probably slightly too full. I'm going to take a little bit of that out because like I said we need to sew that down and then what I would do is just fold that pleat over you'll probably still have a nice little pressed pleat and just put your clip back into place now do that with all of your sections of your bubble quilt and just make sure that it's lined up with the top and the bottom piece of your bubble quilt and I will continue on and I will show you the next stage. Before I sew this to my next row, I'm going to do like a little stitch closing all this up. Because I don't want to try to attach like three open seams up all together. I want to close these up first and then sew it to my next row, which I think is going to be easier. Just make sure that you're catching the top and the bottom seams and this is one of the reasons why you didn't want to overstuff your bubble quilt. And sew all the way down. And make sure that you've put that pleated seam back into the bottom after you have stuffed your bubble quilt patch. This is our first row complete and now what I'm going to do is attach an empty row underneath making sure that we have the openings at the bottom. So this is my second row, it has not been filled. I am going to attach the top of my empty one to the bottom of my filled one. And make sure that your seams line up with your previous row to make your quilt look fabulous and then just sew a quarter of an inch which should be over this existing line so you're going to hide this existing stitch line here continue on with steps one and two and i'll show you how to finish this off when you get to that very last row of your bubble quilt, you're going to stitch it down into place so we're not fighting with the open seams like we did last time. 
this is what our look quilt looks like so far and you're gonna have some threads at the side here and I'd suggest that you just tidy them up so we're just gonna take some scissors and we're just gonna cut these loose bits off now the back of this quilt looks a mess so we're gonna deal with that we're gonna have to put a piece of batten over here and we're gonna put a back in on so I am going to cut all of these frayed bits here so they don't get cut up when I'm doing the final part. I have placed batting on the back of this bubble quilt but I have not got it past the edges. I've cut it so it's well within the bubble quilt because I don't want it to interfere with how I'm going to create the binding. Now my backing section is bigger than the actual quilt because I want to create a binding by folding it over and folding it over again and creating a binding section. This is a little bit thick than what I would like it to be so I'm going to fold it over probably another time. So this right here is two inches. You can choose to cut if you would like. I am just going to fold it once, fold it again and then fold it again another time and catch in the quilt and then I'm just going to grab a wonder quilt and I'm going to pin and I'm going to do that all the way around the quilt and I'll show you how I deal with the corner so I cut away some of the bulk from this corner here and then I'm going to fold this over like so and then I'm going to continue with this fold on this binding and I'm going to fold it back over and then this naturally wants to create a bias on this corner and then I will continue on all the way down now I'm just going to take this over to my sewing machine and just stitch it into place and this is what the finished bubble quilt looks like don't forget to hit subscribe and hit like and don't forget to comment thank you so much for watching bye guys